Today we are giving this dirty, stained, 30 year old tile grout a much needed makeover. And I mean the whole works, from deep cleaning, painting, and resealing so it can stay beautiful for years to come. I spent months researching and trying new ways to clean up this grout and landed on what I think is a great, durable method that requires as little elbow grease as possible. So if you're ready to take your kitchen or bathroom from drab to fab and want to know what products I use, just stick around. We have this large format printed tile throughout our main floor, so including our mudroom, our kitchen, and our dining room. And believe it or not, this grout is actually supposed to be sand colored. Gross, right? I tried every method in the book to clean it, from bleach to dish soap, vinegar. It all worked a little bit. And then I found toilet bowl cleaner, specifically this clinging bleach gel. And gosh, it works so much better. I applied this toilet bowl cleaner just across all the different grout lines in a simple layer and then let it sit for at least an hour, probably no more than three. And then you sit back and let it do the work. Toilet bowl cleaner isn't something you want to use every day on your grout. Grout is a mixture of sand and cement. It's very porous and using something like this or even vinegar, straight bleach, that kind of thing does eat away at your grout over time. However, for a one-time deep clean, this works really well. Once I came back a while later, I went full Cinderella on this. I grabbed my scrub brush and a bucket and a cloth and got to work cleaning this up. And by now, the clean bleach gel has done the majority of the work for us. So I'm just going to take this brush and run it through each of the grout lines to lift that last little bit of dirt up. And then I'm going to get to work trying to lift all of this chemical off the ground. So I came up with this system of using my cloth to soak up as much as I can. Then I ran over to the sink, rinsed out my cloth, and came back and did a full wipe down again with just water. If your grout's like mine, you'll definitely see dirt coming up, but it's important to note that it takes a while for the water to dry out of the grout, so you're not gonna see the full bright clean effect until a few hours later. And even though my grout is still wet, I can tell this is making a huge difference. These before and after comparisons are crazy. Once my Cinderella spree was over, I was still noticing some stains here and there, dark patches that just weren't coming clean. And also the overall color was still quite dark, and this makes sense. I mean, this is 30 year old grout, what do you expect? So I decided I'd give a try to painting my grout. After some research, I settled on this Mape grout paint, which I got off Amazon, but you can also find in some big box stores. And Mape is a global grout, tile, and flooring supplier, so that gave me a bit more assurance that this stuff would be good quality. The paint comes in a squeeze bottle with a narrow tip, and I found out very quickly that a little goes a long way with this stuff. I squeezed it out onto the grout lines, and then I grabbed a toothbrush to spread it around. And to me, this stuff feels very similar to acrylic paint in the way that it applies. I felt the need to spread it out fairly thin because I did not want any globs or any issues with it drying incorrectly, but I also found it gave really great coverage on the first round. So I'm applying in the end just a thin layer and spreading this stuff around getting in every nook and cranny with my toothbrush. And I did like this bottle, it seemed to work fairly well to help apply just in the grout. There is of course going to be some spread over onto the tiles, but we're going to come back and clean that up later. One thing in reflection I wish I would have done was put some tape on the baseboards here. The tile paint did come off really well from the tile, but I had to spend a bit longer on the baseboards, which is fine because I'm actually going to paint those in the near future. But if I were you, I would try to protect some other spaces as well as you can. 
I also found between sessions that the paint did blend quite well together. You don't really need a wet edge to go from session to session, which really helps to break this up. And this took a little while, to be honest. I ended up doing two coats, which I thought was the right amount. The first one was just a little transparent still, and I wanted a nice even color, like I said. So I just did this in little chunks throughout the day. Uh, on my lunch break, something like that, I would just grab the paint and start doing a little chunk. And I let this all dry for at least 24 hours before it was time to come back and clean the paint off the tile. And to do that, I actually used this caulking guide. This is one of those little rubber tools that you use if you're applying caulk to scrape off and round out any edges. And I just got this in a little caulking toolkit off Amazon as well. I'll link that down below. The strategy here is to pull the little rubber tool on either side of the grout line to make a clean break from the paint on the grout versus the paint on the tile and this was really satisfying. Like I said before, my tile is printed, which means it is very smooth, so the paint does not stick to the tile at all. I had almost no issues with the paint peeling out of the grout. It seemed to separate really well. It created this line perfectly on the grout between the tile, just like magic. I have a few tiles separating the different rooms that are more textured. They are almost a slate-like tile, and this did not go so easy on those. The best method I could find was to come back with my scrub brush with some soapy water on it and wash the top of the tiles. This did peel a good bit of paint out of the grout, so I had to come back again with the paint on my fingertip and just dab it here and there. So if you have textured tile, I don't think this method would work well for you. The best advice I have there is to either be really detailed with your line work when applying the paint so nothing gets onto the tile, or to put some kind of barrier down, whether that be painter's tape or maybe some kind of lubricant so that the paint does not adhere at all to the tile. If you've successfully painted grout with textured tile, I would love to hear how you did it. Please let me know down below. The other thing I did was apply paint on any chips or cracks in my tile. This works well because the paint does match the tile fairly well. And while I absolutely love this Mape product and I would definitely use it again on a similar project, my only gripe was the color. I ordered this sand color from the picture on the internet and maybe that was a bad idea, but even the color of this grout as it came out on the ground compared to the color sticker on the bottle did not really match at all. I wasn't too annoyed because it was lighter and I guess lighter is better, that's kind of the look I was going for, so it didn't bother me, but I was definitely going for a true match to the tile as opposed to a lighter white color. So a bit of disappointment there, if you're looking for a specific color, make sure you do a test first. Alright, so once I was successful in cleaning up all of my lines and going back around to touch up anything that had peeled back up, it was time to do some sealing. Now this step is optional, the Mape product does say it has a built-in sealer, but I want this to stay nice and bright for quite a while. There are a wide variety of sealing products out there. The one I chose to use is this aerosol grout and tile sealer. So the concept here is that this sprays in a narrow fan pattern and so you're just going to go around about 6 inches from the ground and spray it onto the tile. I did kind of struggle with this, it seemed that a lot of product was coming out. The directions were to wipe up any excess product. I'm not entirely sure what excess means, so my method here was to go with a dry Swiffer brush and I actually wiped down everything after I applied the product. My idea was that the grout sealant was sitting inside the little grout wells, so if I wiped over the top of the tile, it would kind of still be gathered in that area, but I wouldn't have any large pools on top of the tile. This stuff is super stinky, so I wore my respirator, made sure I had good ventilation, and then left this be for at least an hour to dry. And that's it! Our tile grout is now beautiful and good to go for the years to come. 
The color is light, bright, and consistent. There are clean lines along all the tiles, and I know that it's sealed and protected for future wear. My grout underneath is clean, so I know that this paint is well adhered. And while this project did take a good amount of time, I found that if I broke it up into little chunks and just did a little bit each day, I made quite a bit of progress quite quickly. If you try this out, let me know how it goes in the comments down below. And if you see something that you think I could have done better, let me know that too. I'm always open to improvement. Life is all about learning and trial by error. So don't be afraid to give something like this a go. You might surprise yourself with what you're capable of. Until next time, happy painting.